Hello Sagittarius, how are you all doing? Welcome to your September first half reading. This is from the 1st to the 15th. Please feel free if you like this video to subscribe, share. And comment if you feel that way. If this reading resonates with you please also feel free to contact me on the email link below. I want to thank all cross watchers also for watching this video. As we all know energies can work vice versa. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay so without further ado Tell me please, what does the sign of Sagittarius need to know for the first half of September? What messages have you for the sign of Sagittarius for the first half of September please? Okay, here we go Sagittarius. <coughs> Empress, love birth of a child, nurturing, two pentacles, making a choice, trying to balance, prioritising, ace of swords, victory, clear communication, getting the truth, speaking your truth, realising the truth, queen of pentacles, working on something, willing to invest in something. Doesn't have to be money, it could be investing yourself. Page of Pentacles, an apology, giving or receiving, a new venture, little offer, somebody wants to give you a little gift, Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. So there is a clear cut thing here of a brand new beginning manifesting. You could have been thinking about it for a while. An inspiration and now you want to manifest it. Good idea. Okay, let's see where this goes. Why is the Empress here, please? Please give me a card for the Empress. Why is the Empress here, please? The world. Okay, distance, traveling. Overseas, thinking about visiting or a place or somebody you love. Closing of a cycle, the birth of something new. The situation you're in person you're connecting with you could have both come full circle on something. Let's see where this goes. The moon. Yeah. Yeah. The realization There's something going on that you're not aware of, or you're doing something that, or planning something that somebody else is not aware of. Perhaps you're planning a trip to surprise them, and you're not talking to anybody, Sagittarius. Let's take this a bit further. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, please? Ah, Six of Cups. Reconciliation could be 
you've had a realisation, you know where your priorities lie now, do you want to reconcile with somebody? Why is the Six of Cups with the Two of Pentacles please? Are you trying to make a decision on whether to reconcile somebody with somebody? Um, seems you're carrying a heavy burden, Sagittarius. Maybe you think for a while you can drop these responsibilities and pay a visit to this person. There's obviously love involved. Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Wow, regrets. Do you regret something? Is somebody regretting something? You come to the realisation that whatever's happened between you and this person, there's some regrets there. It's feeling that way, Sag. I'm getting this is you. Yeah, what did I say? Planning a trip. Travel, Knight of Wands. Maybe you're feeling disappointed in something, Sagittarius, in a situation. You're making travel plans. To see somebody you love. That's what it's looking like to me. This is what I'm getting. As I said before, these energies can work vice versa. So, oh, I was just going to ask to clarify Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups came out. Message of love. This to me can also mean an expression of love. Ooh, two more cards popped out. Four of Wands and Seven of Swords. I'm getting this is you Sagittarius. You're planning something. A nice surprise to do something good. But you're not talking about it. This can be the commitment card. Fresh start. I feel with these cards you've been planning something you're not talking to anybody you want it to be a surprise and this can mean spending time with somebody on holiday but it's a fresh start In fact, you want to express yourself in a different way before, than you did before. This person you're connecting with, maybe things didn't go quite so well in the past. But I keep getting the word stealth. Both the Moon and the Seven of Swords can mean stealth, but not necessarily in a bad way, so don't take that wrong way, Sagittarius. Just saying. We can keep secrets for good reasons as well as bad. The energy of you is quite strong in this. This, I feel this is you towards them. Yeah, you're taking control. You're taking control of everything. You're going to make a decision to go and see them. Offer them something. Why is the Emperor 
on top of a page of pentacles. New beginnings. This has got new beginnings all over it. Fresh start. New expression. New offering. Fresh start. Fresh start. New beginning. But I'm getting the word difference. Big difference. You're reconnecting with somebody, but you're not going to approach them or express your feelings the same as you did before. This is going to be very different. I think here, this is screaming, karmic lesson. You've been through a big change, I think, Sagittarius. I think you've been through a cycle of some kind, a karmic cycle. And now you want to express yourself in a loving way. Queen of Cups, very mature energy. This is childlike energy. So you've gone from the page to the Queen. Big transformation, that's the screaming at me. But there's a very nice opportunity to you. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Are you dealing with an air sign, Sagittarius? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, if you want to put it that way. But that's screaming to me a new start manifesting between you both. And I'm getting you want to talk to them, but they're also willing to talk. So if there's a stalemate between you, one of you will have to bite the bullet and go for it. But you're usually the brave one, Sagittarius. This is screaming reconnection. Yep, the star on the bottom of the deck. Wish granted. This could be them or you. Healing. Hope, opportunity, karmic timing. And this is saying to me now, the cycles of whatever rough patch you've two have gone through, this person you're connecting with, it's time to move. On that note, Sagittarius, I wish you a great first half in September. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.